Hey guys, welcome to Jurassic Den, okay? So, you know, I was just shooting a video for Den Surprise and I thought, you know, maybe I can actually do a um, Marine Reptiles collection for Jurassic Den because we haven't done one, um, you know, for like a long time. So let's have a look at my collection of um, prehistoric marine reptiles. As you guys can see, I have basically cleared this entire section of all the um, prehistoric marine reptiles. What I've basically left are basically some prehistoric marine creatures right here, like the fish and um, a prehistoric whale right here. So what are basically left right here are all the reptiles. So let's have a look at every single figure together. So let's do this. All right, guys, so let's have a look. None of this here are actually from Jurassic World. So all of them are actually uh, from different brands. This one is actually from Favorite Co. Definitely one of my most favorite, okay, literally right here. Uh, it's a very nice figure and it comes with a stand. So pretty cool figure I would say from Favorite Co. This is basically a Hydrotherosaurus. If I'm not wrong, the name actually means Water Beast Lizard. So this is our one and only Hydrotherosaurus figure and you can see this is actually from Collective 2007 figure. So it's quite an old one I would say. This is basically from Schleich. We got this relatively recently, I would say last year. It's probably probably like mid last year and um, it's from Schleich. Not the best looking Schleich figure, but you guys know that you know I'm a, quite a huge fan of Schleich. So I will try to collect some of the figures at least. This one is a classic figure. Uh, uh, it's actually from Safari LTD. Yep, 2010 figure, roughly about 13 years old right now. So. Quite a cool figure as well. Okay, next up. This one looks like a Mosasaurus. Initially, I thought, you know, it was a Mosasaurus, but it's actually a Tylosaurus. 2009 collective figure. And if you take a look at this, they definitely have some similarities for sure. This is basically the 2014 Mosasaurus figure. Yep, this was the first figure. Um, I mean, this was the figure that we have purchased in 2014 when the first started Dan's surprise, so it definitely holds a lot of um, great memories. This is probably the recent addition. Yep, it's a Mosasaurus from Collecte. It can be considered as a 2023 figure because it was only released like probably like late last year in some countries and only available in majority of the countries earlier this year. So yeah, this can be considered as a 2023 figure. Um. This one is a very beautiful 2017 Tylosaurus. All right, looks really beautiful. Here we have a Plesiosaurus right here, which looks very nice as well. This is actually from Schleich. I think it's a Plesiosaurus. I'm not exactly sure, but I think so. Okay, Plesiosaurus. I'm gonna put this um, on the floor. And um, this is basically a Liplurudon, which is known as the smooth sided teeth. We have two figures. They are supposed to be the same, but if you take a look at this, the paint scheme is actually different. If you take a look at this, this is actually painted on the underside as well, but not for this, which is kind of surprising, and they're both from the same year. So, and you can see this part is like white in color, and this part is in yellow color, so they look similar, but they are actually different. Yeah, very, very cool, I would say. Okay, next up, Chronosaurus. There are two Chronosaurus which were released at the same time in 2017, which I remember very co correctly. One is from Collecte, this one is from Collecte, and this one is from Safari LTD. You can see both figures are very, very nice, so a lot of collectors were like choosing between the two. But if you ask me, I would say that the one from Collecte is slightly better because it has a or rather an articulated jaw right here. Articulated jaw. I always have pro problems pronouncing that word. So yeah, Collecte Chronosaurus right here. Two really beautiful, solid and heavy and um, large figures. And you can see the pose is more or less the same, the sculpt as well. So both are incredible figures, I would say. All right. This one is one that I've got. Not too sure why I got it, but I think I've got it from Amazon. It's basically a brand layers. There's no brand to it and I've thought, you know, the colors actually look kind of cool and we can probably do a Mosasaurus collection video. So I actually made a purchase on it. It's 
kind of a cool figure, okay? So, Mosasaurus, we do have quite a number of Mosasaurus. This figure, I'm gonna be putting it at level 3 Colossal Shelf because it actually belongs to the Papo collection. It is a Plesiosaurus, very nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna move it to um, level 3 for sure. This one, I am thinking is a light blue Rudon, but I'm not exactly sure. I can't remember the name because it's actually from Bully Land and it doesn't have a name written below, so I'm just gonna take it as, as a light blue Rudon. Beautiful Mosasaurus, probably one of the best one on the table. Top 3 at least, and uh, I mean right here on the table. Uh, PNSO Mosasaurus, absolutely incredible. You can see they've actually painted it with a kind of like a metallic paint so it has a very nice sheen ni very nice gloss so it looks very uh, aquatic feel it has a very nice aquatic kind of like scaly feel of a fish next up this is a pliosaurus if i'm not wrong yep pliosaurus beautiful one and you can find some like parasites living on its body so very cool detailing done on this from collecting collecting definitely will produce very very awesome stuff this is known as the Mount Shatter's Lizard, which is known as the Shattersaurus. Yep, our first or one and only Shattersaurus in our entire collection. Okay. The Elasmosaurus, um, yeah, from Bully Land. Very nice figure, I would say. Really love this. And they actually have the name written right below, which is awesome. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. Recur. Recur is a brand that, you know, to be honest, they produced figures which are more well suited to kids but this figure right here is definitely one of my most favorite ones for sure and uh, i love the coloration i love the sculpt i just like you know this mosasaurus although it doesn't look scientifically accurate but i feel it's a very very cool figure Nothosaurus, not exactly a um, full aquatic marine reptile but it's a semi-aquatic um animal so i like this one as well really nice this is a Plesiosuchus, okay, another Elasmosaurus, and this one is actually from Safari LTD, quite a beautiful one, I would say, definitely one of the better ones in the um, collection. Dolly Curring Cops right here, okay, a very tiny little figure, yeah, I think it would be nice to actually have um, small sized marine reptiles that would be easier for us to um, display and to collect, and of course right here we have the, the Mosasaurus. Um, from Dan Moo Studio. Quite a nice one as well, I would say. Alright, thanks for watching this video on Jurassic Dan. I will see you guys on the next Sunday for another video. So I only upload once a week on Jurassic Dan. Usually showing my collection of non Jurassic World figures, okay? So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.